The first thing I have to say is it's bloody boiling today. I'm not sure how I'm going to enjoy this game this afternoon in these conditions. Anyway, you're not here to listen to me moan, but today we take on Tiverton Town at home in our latest league fixture. Tivy, as they are also referred to, currently sit in 11th position in the league, but I don't know what else to say about them if I'm being totally honest, apart from bring back Max Fournier. Tivy don't like me right now. We lost our last league game at Walton and Hersham, but we saw off Harrow Borough 2-0 in the FA Cup last weekend, so hopefully we can now get a run going. A win today is a must, not just to get a run going, but would set things up nicely for our FA Cup game next weekend. More on that later in the video. It's time for a brand new feature on the channel, either write something funny or ask me a question in the comments below and I will show and comment or answer on that, well, comment on the next Bracknell Town video. I'm intrigued to see what you will put. Oh God, we've actually hit bad traffic in Sandhurst. This is not good. And we are away again. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video at any point as the channel is progressing very well. We're getting close to 650 subscribers now. So yeah, before you know it, we won't be far off 700 subscribers. The sun is shining and the sweat box has made it to Bottom Meadow. So with that, let's get to our score predictions. So today could be an interesting test, it could go either way, but I'm going to go for a 3-1 Bracknell Town win. I believe we can do it today, despite these extremely hot conditions. So Gemma, what is your score prediction? My score prediction today is a 2-1 uh, win to us. I think we could easily do it today. Um, also, uh, when Jack did his little kickers session this morning, one of the coaches said it can drain the players as well when you're how in this heat and doing the ball. But there'll be plenty of drink breaks today. So, yeah, hopefully we can get those three points. And regarding the FA Cup, next Saturday we have been drawn at home to Haven't and Waterlooville of the National League South. I'm very happy that time, not just because it's somebody different and because it's a team from the league above which presents a good challenge, but it is actually very winnable because those guys are currently right at the bottom of the table. They've just changed managers, so with that it is very winnable. But I am looking forward to today's game, so with that let's get inside Bottom Meadow. So we've bought plenty of frozen drinks of us, let's make sure they are still intact. Oh they are, look at that. Still cold but it's melted a bit, but it would do, look at it. Can't wait to get this down me in a bit. Let's do a proper heat test of this railing. Ah, that's hot. How's it feel to hit 30? Football. <laughs> you look very happy today. I'm holding down. I'm sweating my tits off already. Matthew, how are you, sir? I don't know. Nah, nah, today. Nah. I've got to make up a new one every week just for you. <laughs> Go on, Nana, mug him off. Come on. Yes, yes, Nana. Oh, oh, hey. Oh, nearly there for Johnny. Could have been 2 0. Good effort, though. Oh, yeah. 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 
Ferrari. So half time, it's 2 0 to the Robins. Goals from Nana Arusu and Joe Grant in that first half. Granty's goal, which was the first, simple open goal. The goalie came out, you know, he fluffed it there, didn't he? But the second goal, Nana Arusu, it was mostly the work from Cameron English, the guy who got the assist. Great work from Cammy to, um, he kept going, he? going past defenders, not taking a shot. And then he gave the ball to Nana and Nana smashed it home for 2 0. Jim, what's your thoughts on, I'd say, what was a pretty decent first half despite the conditions? Yeah, no, I think they were doing really well despite the conditions, but um, hopefully there'll be another, we can win this game and come out with it with a clean sheet, fingers crossed. Yeah, lots of challenges going, lots of lots of calls for penalties in that half as well. Um, but, you know, it was a bit slow to start with, I think, this half. But in these conditions, I really don't think it's fair to expect too much from the guys. But 2-0 lead at half-time is absolutely fantastic. Could it be 3 or 4? Who knows? Come on up the Robins. Over. What are you looking at? You know what this is? The world's smallest violin. Oh, you did very well, keeper. Oh. oh, it's gone down. That must have hurt. <laughs> Let's end this now. Come on. Still worth a try. Go on. So three goals and most importantly three points today for the Robins, a 3-0 win over the visiting Tiverton Town this afternoon. The last goal being scored by Liam Ferdinand, a great through ball to him which sealed the victory. Well, it was an extremely hot day, wasn't it Gemma? But what was your view on that rather hot day? But you know, like I said, it's great to get the points, isn't it? Yeah, no, I think we did really extremely well to come away with a, free, a clean sheet there in these um, in these temperatures still. Yeah, no, I think it was good overall. I think we were the better side, but Tiverton come out in the second half and they gave it their all just to get that goal. But luckily enough, it didn't go in for them, but they did come out fighting there. Also, like the referee, when we had a foul and what was meant to be ours, he never blew that whistle once. So that was pretty... Well, he did a couple of times. He but... did only a couple of times, but a majority of the times he didn't. Oh, Overall, yeah, I think all the boys and uh, did well in Bracknell today, considering the heat. 
But yeah, it was good to come away with that 3-0 win. Yeah, I think the Tiverton players were a bit um, dramatic today, weren't they, in that second half, and even the first half at times. But look, I think it's a great win. In these conditions, we're going to make sloppy mistakes like we did today, but it's just great to get the win. On Tuesday, we are away at Hendon. I won't be there, or nor Gemma anyway, because she never does on a Tuesday, but I won't be because it's a long way to go on a Tuesday night. So I'll be somewhere else, maybe Alton or Ascot, somewhere like that. But anyway, we're happy those three points. Next Saturday, we're home to have it at Mortleyville, like I said, in the FA Cup second qualifying stage round. So looking forward to that. So in today's other league games, AFC Totten 1, Hendon 1, Beaconsfield 2, Basingstoke Town 3. Didcot Town getting their first win of the league season with a win against Winchester City. That was 1-0 there. Dorchester 2, Swindon Supermarine 1. So Swindon Supermarine still yet to pick up a single point. Gosport Borough 4, Hungerford Town 0. Harrow 3, Showling 2. Hazen Eden 2, Paul Town 2. But that game is still going apparently, so that result might change. Murphy Town got their first defeat of the season, or dropped the first points of the season, losing 3-1 at home to Chesham United. So Chesham, they are catching up now to Murphy Town. Plymouth Park 3-1, Hamwell 2 and Salisbury 1. Wharton and Hersham, nil. So in the standings, Cheshire United for the first time take the top of the table, having won all seven league games so far. We've got Sport Borough in second and Murphy Town dropping down to third. Salisbury in fourth and Wharton and Hersham in fifth make up the playoff places. AFC Tottenham and Basingstoke on level points in fifth position, but, but are in those positions on goal difference. And Bracknell move up to eighth position. But at the bottom we have Swindon Supermarine, Beaconsfield, Plymouth Park, and Didcot Town. Of course, it's still far too early to say what team's going to go down, but Swindon Super Marine are really struggling so far, aren't they, this season? So, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Your support is greatly appreciated. And subscribe for more non-league content if you haven't already for more Bracknell Town content. So, like I said, Tuesday I'll be ground hopping somewhere. Might be somewhere I've already been before, somewhere new. I don't know yet. But anyway, until then, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Come on, up the Robins! Oh.